Hi, today we're going to talk about how to convert from the binary system to the denary decimal system. Remember, the binary system is the one that computers use. The denary or decimal system is that is the one that humans use because we've got 10 fingers. Okay, so uh, this is very easy. And uh, we're going to use the same method that we're going to use in other systems uh, to convert from to and from other systems. But in uh, you should be you should learn how to use this conversion from binary to, den to denary because it's the most important one, okay? So, um, the first thing we're going to do is to uh, order the uh, positions of each bit and how much uh, uh, they cost. So what are we going to do? We're going to write down the, the base of the original system. In this case, it's a binary system, which is base two, and their positions from right to left, starting with the zero. So this is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 6, and 2 to the power of 7, and we could go on. Okay? So, next thing is we're going to write down the, the denary or decimal value of those positions. So, 2 to the power of 1 is 1, 2 to the power of 2 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and we get 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Okay, again, we could go on. It all depends on the number of uh, bits uh, that we're given for the number that we need to convert. Okay, so having done this, and, and I would do this at the start of the, of the exercise, Next thing, the next thing that we're going to do is look at the number that we have to convert. So we have to convert in this exercise the following number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have enough. Okay, so we want to convert this from the decimal system to the denary system, which is base 10. So what, what are we going to do? The first thing, we're going to write those values down as we have done. So let's write 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 on 128 and then we're going to write the number that we're given from uh, under those positions from uh, right to left again so we have one zero one 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 zero one one okay so the denary value is calculated by multiplying each digit by the value of that position. So for example, we would get 128 times one plus 64 times one plus 32 times zero plus 16 times one plus eight times one plus four times one plus two times zero plus one times one, okay? But this is very long and we don't really have to do this. Why? Because we already know that any number that's multiplied by zero is zero. So all those over there are really useless. So we only have to write down the positions, the value of the positions where you have a one. So I would really, if I were given this number, I would really have done, there's a, position, there's a one in position 128. So 128 plus 64, that has another one. 32, we ignore it, 16, so that's another 1, and then it's 8, 4, 2 as a 0, so we ignore it, and then we have 1. And we only have to do this addition, which is 221. So the value of this binary number in denary is 221. Okay, really easy. Let's re uh, repeat this process for another number. So it's... Uh, Imagine we're given one 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 zero zero in binary and we want to convert it to denary. Okay? So what do we have to do? Again, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and hundred and twenty-eight. And we write the number below that. So the number below would be zero zero and then for once. Okay, so, uh, and then we're going to add up 
all the numbers that have a 1, so 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus nothing else. It's only those four. Okay. So that's 20, 52, and that's a 60. Okay. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 in binary equals 60 in binary or decimal. As you see, pretty straightforward. Just remember to position all those, the values of the positions from right to left. Write your number underneath and just add up the ones, the values that have a 1. Uh, and the addition of those uh, values is your uh, decimal number, the one you're looking for. Okay? I hope it helps.